Hey there, I'm Emma from mm, English. Have you been wondering how good your knowledge of English vocabulary really is? Do you want to know what your English vocabulary level is? Yeah! Well, you're in the right place because this video is an English vocabulary level test. I've designed it so that you can find out if your English vocabulary is at a beginner, intermediate or advanced level. Are you ready to try it out? There are five sets of questions in this level test and 36 questions altogether. To work out your level at the end, you need to keep track of how many questions you get right. Remember, this test is just a guide to give you an idea about your English level. So how does it work? You're going to see a sentence up on screen just like this. And your job is to choose the best word to complete the sentence. You'll see a little timer up on screen so that you know how much time you have to answer each question. And when the time is up, I'll give you the correct answer. The season that follows winter is spring. Okay, we're starting off very simply. The day before Wednesday is... Tuesday. I eat at seven o'clock. Breakfast. How oranges did she eat? How many oranges did she eat? He is to music. He is listening to music. My neighbor is, I like her. My neighbor is nice. I like her. Okay, these questions will be a little harder. I made this cake all by myself. These strawberries are sweet and delicious. Harry is a, he writes articles for the newspaper. Harry is a journalist. I saw five red this morning. Cars. This suitcase is very, I can't carry it by myself. Heavy. It, 20 minutes to drive to the city. It takes. 20 minutes. Okay, now we're taking things up a notch. All right? Can I call you in five minutes? Can I call you back in five minutes? I have to for the exam next week. I have to study for the exam next week. I fell asleep because the movie was boring. The movie was boring, not bored. The flood didn't 
any damage to the property. Didn't do any damage. He was burnt from working such long hours. This is a phrasal verb. He was burnt out. The report is due Friday. There's a couple of correct answers here. By, on. There are a thousand different types of wattle tree in Australia. Give or take. You could say approximately, about, around. Okay, we keep going up. She burst laughing. She burst out laughing. The mobile library comes once a once a fortnight. Her recent appearance on a reality TV show has her a lot of new fans. There are a few verbs that you could use here. Earned, brought, just make sure it's in the past tense. The takes about four hours all up. I need to up on my Spanish before the trip. Brush up on my Spanish. There were qualified candidates which made it difficult to choose a winner. There were several qualified candidates. The hotel houses 150 people a night. Staff. The hotel houses 150 people a night, excluding staff. There's a, with the computer, it seems to be frozen. There's a problem with the computer. All right, here we go. We're on the home straight. The film contains language, therefore it's not suitable for children. Strong language. Buying things in bulk can be more than buying in small quantities. more economical. There's no to drive. The bus stops right in front of the house. There is no reason to drive. I don't mean to you, but you seem to have the facts mixed up. They had to attend mediation to their differences. The students to uphold the values held by the school.
endeavor. An article with too much will be difficult to understand unless you're an expert. Jargon. In academic writing, it's best to your point with quotes, diagrams or examples. Illustrate. What I understood, the company is in bad financial shape. From what I understood. I read the article twice, but still couldn't grasp what the author was getting at. So how did you go? Did you count how many you got right? Let's check your level right here. If you scored between one and five, you're at a beginner level. If you scored between six and 11, you're pre-intermediate. Between 12 and 18, your level is intermediate. Between 19 and 26, your level is upper intermediate. And if you scored between 27 and 36, then congratulations, your English vocabulary is at an advanced level. You're somewhere between C1 or C2. Let me know how you did in this quick vocabulary quiz down in the comments and make sure you let me know if you enjoyed it. If you want to keep working on your vocabulary here at M English, this is an entire playlist of all of my vocabulary lessons. There are plenty in there to keep you busy. But if you're looking for some tips and advice on how to learn and remember new words, then check out this one down here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.